What's up everybody, it's your girl Tanya Lady T and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Get on board because the tickets are free. Okay y'all, I had to do it. Mr. Silver Fox brought me two of the flounder fillets. I probably will only eat one, but I wanted to take it out of that container so it didn't sweat. It comes in a little paper sleeve. But anyway, again, Popeye's Cajun flounder. Let's see if it meets the test for Fish Friday. And we got Big Bubba, 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 Big Bubba, 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 Big Bubba is part of the flavor train. So come on, everybody, and help me say a Big Bubba, 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 Big Bubba, 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 Big Bubba. Yes, everybody always asks me where do I get my Bubba cup. It's from Walmart, not sponsored, but this is where I purchased my Bubba Cups, Walmart. Don't sleep on Walmart. Walmart got it going on. All right, y'all. Let me just show you. It comes in with this pretty uh, bun. Here's that piece of fish. Yes, it's got pickles, and I think it's got some type of sauce on it. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food we're about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Now, I'm just going to taste it by itself. Again. <laughs> if you are already in mm. Okay, Popeyes, they come to play. Mm-hmm, okay, okay. It's just a claw. It almost reminds you of their chicken sandwich, except for it's fish. I'm going to add some more hot sauce to it to give it a little bit more heat. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I, 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 I ain't got nothing negative to say. Popeye's fish filet or fish, Cajun fish flounder. It's going to make me play and say, hey, how you doing? Mmm. <laughs> it gets better and better the more you eat it. The more you bite into it. Get into it. Mm. Nice, good piece of fleshy fish. Mm -hmm. I'm very satisfied. Papa didn't deny me the flavor that I was looking for. Oh yes, this chicken, ch this, excuse me, this fish dinner is a winner. And I will go back for more. Mmm, that pickle. That's really good. Now, this fish sandwich will have everybody flocking to Popeye's in the neighborhood. Mm. Absolutely fabulous.
Ooh, y'all, that's good. I'm, I brewed some fresh tea. Mmm. Me like it, me like it. Has a good batter on it. Mm-hmm. Still crunchy, and I'm eating them straight out of the package. Didn't have to warm them up. I'm about 20 miles away from Popeye, so. You hear that crunch? Still nice and fresh. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Good one, that's a good sweet there. Oh, wow. Look at that. I mean, just look at that fish. This is just like eating my two pieces of fish on Friday, except for this is on. Um, Popeyes, y'all got it going on with these sandwiches. Who's ever in your R and D department that um kicked off these chicken sandwiches and this fish sandwich? Make sure them people are getting a raise, you know. The innovation team. You figure when something becomes a phenomenon or something goes viral because somebody on the team was given an opportunity or they're just producers, you know, they just know how to produce stuff, invent stuff. Don't treat them like this redheaded stepchild because they're in the back of the room that nobody sees, you know. Those people need accolades as well. They really do. They may not be the face of something. But you can get your cold dollar. Your bottom dollar, baby. They had a lot of do to do with the success. Because one good idea can catapult any, any business. So, I just want to put that in the atmosphere for people who are in research and development, quality assurance, innovative team. Nobody may never ever see their face because, you know, everybody wants to talk to the CEO of the company or blah, blah, blah. Ooh, I'm getting full. 
I try to stop now when I get full, even though my mouth be wanting more. Mm. That is good. I'm going to stop because I don't want to overdo it. I've been doing good, y'all. But, yeah. You companies out there, you know that team is what made you some serious money. And I know you got to do what you got to do for stockholders and all that. But you know what? Break a person off. Break, break, a, break off a piece for somebody on that team that really went through the thick and the thicker, stayed up eight late hours of the night looking at different seasonings and different ideas, just like that man that came up with that new style of the Cadillac. Mm -hmm. He finally got recognition. Remember when Cadillacs, Cadillac changed their body? Everybody want a Cadillac. Made me want a Cadillac still. When they changed the body on that Cadillac, baby, that was all innovation, honey. And I can understand why people, some people like doing that kind of stuff. Just like people who love to edit, who are editors, you know, a movie, they can shoot a movie in a week. You know what I'm saying? Or, or maybe two weeks at the max. But honey, what takes time is that editing. Or special effects and that type of thing. You know, you might have to shoot a recent, or you have to, an editor might be going through all that stuff, going through all that stuff. They got to condense two weeks of filming down into an hour and 30 minute film or whatever the budget is. And honey, they done look through stuff. And you might have to call the actress back to do a reshot because, you know, there was a piece of lettuce on her tooth when she was talking in that scene. And, and you know, whatever, or they might got the stuff where they can erase the letters. You know, I'm sure there's all kinds of editing tools. Uh, but yeah, what take the longest? It's the editing. And you'd be like, man, they've been shooting that movie for four years. Editing, all that stuff, it take time. Uh, or, you know, Once they put it together, don't look right. They got to call the actors by, back out to remix that plot. But anyway, I can just say, I said all that to say this. There are some jobs, like I like editing, but it's a lot of work. I do a lot of editing on my videos on my main channel. But I do enjoy it, you know. But you have to have time. And like I said, I'm not as busy this time of the year like I am toward the middle and end part of the year. So I was telling my people over there, I said, honey, when, it, when I start back busy, and I've gotten back a little bit busy now because of Easter, but honey, enjoy it now because uh, when it, when I get back busy doing work, I ain't going to have all that time to do all that editing. But like I said, I like editing. I may not have the best equipment. I just, you know, but I like editing because you really actually put them, it's like you're putting a movie together and it's about your life. It's about what you're doing, you know? <laughs> so, you know, I love that aspect of it. I love that aspect of it that you're, you're, you're pretty much creating a movie and you're telling the story on how you want people to view it, you know? And then some people might come back and say, oh my God, I never even thought about doing such and such. You know, it's like, okay, somebody recognized my little, little just a little, little bit of editing skills. But it can be time consuming, y'all. It really can. But I, like I said, I enjoy it. And I, I can see why now people who do YouTube full time and they, they're on that side of, you know, YouTube being a content creator where they really get into the cinematography and they get the drones and people who um 
they show themselves, you know, walking to the front door and then they set their camera up and they, they show themselves walking to the car, getting in the car and, and driving off. And then, you know, they have, and, and like I said, I'm a content creator, so I know what it takes to do all that. So, you know, when they left, you know, and drove off halfway down the road, they stop, run back and go get the camera so they can bring it with them to finish recording. Or some people have multiple cameras uh, set up where, okay, as they're driving down the road, they, you know, hit the remote control. They make sure they're far enough, you know, not too far where the remote control can cut that camera off. You know what I'm saying? And then they go on and start filming with another camera. Oh, honey, it gets deep, honey. I'm going to tell you who is that. And dog, every single time there is a man on here. I used to watch them years ago because they used to do pranks. Because, you know, most of the time, a lot of times I would watch YouTube back in the day for makeup, hair, um, couponing. And I used to like to watch the prank, uh, watch pranks. You know, I've grown, not necessarily grown out of it because, you know, I'm grown or whatever, but I've just grown out of watching pranks. I just, you know, but anyway, when I was all into watching pranks and stuff, was it girlfriend versus girlfriend? Anyway, he's real popular. He's out of Philadelphia, I believe. But I drop in over there on his channel sometime just to look at the cinematography. Like he'll be he would he'll be falling into a, a pool and have his camera on him and he'll fall into the pool and it'll show the camera, you know, we'll be underwater with him and then he'll pop back up and he might be on his bicycle driving down the you know the boulevard. <laughs> I love it. I love that type of uh zeal i love that type of creativity i just love it that's why come i'm so in love with matrix because when matrix came on the scene y'all are you kidding me nobody had ever seen anything like that at least i hadn't i mean it just took your visual consciousness to a whole nother level <laughs> that's why i'm so excited the matrix is coming out i think it'll be out in 2022 they're filming it right now all the way. I'm going to have on my black outfit. I hope they don't. I'm going to have on somebody. Yeah, Tanya, I'm going to put on my black outfit just to watch it. But anyway, y'all. Y'all know I can be dramatic. But yes, I think his, uh, I, but see, they, they have busted up. Him and his girlfriend have busted up. He done got him a whole nother honey dip, you know. And they do videos. Uh, but dog, his his channel, I think he gave her the, the channel girlfriend versus boyfriend or whatever it was. He gave her that channel and he had already had another channel. And I'm I'm trying to, I'm talking because I'm trying to make myself remember his name. But anyway, I, I strictly watch his videos because of the, his cinematography. His editing is off of the chain. I just, I just like stuff like that. I really do. It's a great escape, you know, to just celebrate the creativity of some people. You know, I, I, I just like that kind of stuff. So anyway, going back to what I said in the beginning, any of y'all who are watching and y'all own your own company or you're part of a corporation think tank and uh, kudos to y'all. Kudos to anybody. on R&D is important to a company, right? quality assurance all the qa techs shout out to all the qa tech shout out to all the research and uh development r d shout out to the innovation team shout out to y'all because i mean y'all bring stuff to consumers that you know we didn't think we needed but we really did right anyway let me go y'all know i can jelly jack anyway y'all y'all have an awesome weekend these are really good Popeyes, you did the daggone thing. But anyway, y'all have an awesome weekend. And I want to thank y'all for stopping on the flavor train. Because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Love y'all. Bye, y'all.